Welcome to Mr. Craft Tales, where we do two things. We make crafts and we make cocktails. Why do we do this? Because if the craft doesn't come out good, at least there's alcohol there for you. So this is gonna be a very special episode. Why is this special, James? Cinco de Mayo! Exactly. And why do we love Cinco de Mayo, James? Tequila! Exactly. So today we're gonna to make very special margaritas. We're also going to make these amazing paper trays to hold the craft in with tropical leaves and flowers. So it's not just a cocktail, it's actually an entire presentation and your guests are gonna love this. Here's what you'll need. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna find some oranges you like. So you have two options with this. You could do beautiful big oranges for people who drink big margaritas, or you can do these little ones and make strong shots, which would be really fun also. So what we're gonna do first, we're gonna cut these. You're gonna take this and you're gonna cut it just so there's enough on top to make a glass. And this way it sits up if it's sitting off balance, you can cut it. I kind of like them looking a little bit more natural. So once this is taken off, I'm gonna put a bowl on, because you're gonna use the orange juice later in the margarita. So you wanna make sure you have the juice and you have the orange together. So you're gonna need a reamer. This is our friend, the reamer. It is an awful name, but can't change it. This is what it is, but at least it's kind of cool looking. So you're gonna take this and to make the cup, you're gonna put this into the center. You're gonna squeeze out as much as you can now you have a choice here. You could actually clean the thing out very cleanly inside with a knife or with a grapefruit sharpened spoon so that it's uh, always perfect. I kind of like them looking a little bit more natural. And I also like it because as it defrosts, the flavor from the oranges kind of comes through in the margarita. So once you do all these, you're gonna take these and you're gonna put them in the freezer. And what's gonna happen is these are actually gonna become your cups. So while our oranges are in the freezer, we're gonna start making our craft. And what we're gonna do is make this really fun orange slice tray. Very simple to do, very easy cuts. First we're gonna do orange construction paper, and we're gonna cut simple orange wedges. So, very simple shapes. And then you're gonna to wanna to put a cut for the pits in the middle, so you're gonna just fold this over in the center. You're gonna cut out the shape, and you have your first one. So I cut some of these ahead of time. By the way, I actually make myself a margarita at the beginning because you never know. You know, you got started, you want a drink. You could actually skip ahead if you want, make yourself a drink and come back and do the craft with us, but I like to have my margarita here with me. Okay, so I actually cut a big orange frame also because I wanna give this some structure. I'm simply gonna take the orange pieces I cut, lay them in to the design. And what's nice about this is it gives a little bit of a mid-century modern kind of fun shape. Then to protect the paper, I bought an exact same tray in clear. And what it does is, is basically it makes almost a protective frame. So now your tray is protected. You've got this beautiful orange design in the middle. And once we're done with all our margaritas, it's gonna look amazing on there. Since this tray is so versatile, what we can do is, let's say you're doing a party and you wanna do watermelon shots and you wanna have a different frame. What we could do is we could remove all these pieces. So once again, cut a simple frame. This one's a nice bright green construction paper, red center. Some simple black shapes. And once again, tray on top, and now you have a watermelon tray, which is great for doing watermelon shots or other pieces. You could also then use this tray, you can put photos in it, you could put all kinds of things to make your own collage pieces, graduation parties, Halloween, it could be a pumpkin. So this is actually a really versatile craft and simple to make and simple to reuse. Now it's time to make our margarita. Get your shaker ready. Your orange juice from before. So it's gonna be three parts orange juice, 
two parts tequila, one part Cointreau, and a squeeze from a good lime. So let's get started. First, we're going to take our orange juice. I spill all the time, so just expect it. Actually, that was pretty good. Some tequila. A little Contra. Cut a lime. Give a good squeeze across the whole room. And of course, your favorite part, give it a good shake. And now we're going to get our frozen oranges and our tray and put the whole look together. First, we're going to take our frozen margaritas, which are now perfect for glasses. I'm going to arrange them on our tray. I've added this big leaf just because it's got a nice drama and a little color. It also pops the orange on the tray. Put these in place. I'm going to take our margarita mix. I'm going to pour them in. Fill them up. Next, we're going to take some pineapple leaves. I'm going to lay them across the top of each one. This is what's going to hold our salt. So we're going to take some pink Himalayan salt. The reason I chose the pink Himalayan salt is because it has a nice pop of color. If you looked at the beginning in the ingredients, I also showed some other colored salts that you can use. They also have flavored salts. Um, but since this is already an orange flavored drink, you really don't need to go that far. I also like to add a little salt in case people want some extra on their drink. Put that up front. And then, because presentation is everything, we want to add a little bit more to it. So we might add a little flowers to the sides. Once you're done arranging your flowers and your drinks, everything's ready to be served. Your guests are going to love that you've taken the extra step to make the glasses, to create the tray, and to make this amazing arrangement using wild flowers and tropical branches, and it's actually really delicious. So pick up your salt, have a taste. It's good. Enjoy. And there you have it, an amazing Mr. Craft Tales cocktail craft concoction. You have an amazing drink, natural leaves and foliage, a tray that you created yourself. And what's nice about this is yes, you can use it for Cinco de Mayo, but it's also amazing for summer parties, holiday parties, whatever you're doing. Let's face it, margaritas are good all year round. So thank you for joining us at Mr. Craft Tales. We hope you enjoy your drink. We hope you enjoy your craft. Make sure to, to, to follow us on Facebook, on Instagram, and of course on YouTube. And we look forward to seeing you at our next craft. Thanks for joining us.